Blinken. U.S. does not rule out military operations against Iran. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Iran has rejected the current proposal to return to the nuclear agreement, adding that Washington still believes that diplomacy is the most effective way to deal with the Iranian nuclear file. Blinken said in an interview with Al Arabiya that Iranian youth are defending their basic rights in the face of Tehran's regime, adding the U.S. focus now is on the Iranian regime's suppression of its people in the streets. Blinken highlighted U.S. support to Iranian people, stressing that the decision of regime change remains ultimately up to the people. He added, the Iranian regime is convincing its people of the idea that the U.S. wants regime change. In addition, he stressed that Iran supports Russia in its war against Ukraine and provides it with drones and other weapons, expressing his concern about Tehran providing Moscow with drones and missiles. He stressed that U.S. President Joe Biden stressed his determination that Iran not acquire nuclear weapons, explaining that all options are available on the table to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. He pointed out that Washington has punished all those responsible for repression in Iran, stressing that his country continues to search for ways to disrupt Iran's malign activities. Blinken also said that the main goal of U.S. military efforts was deterring aggressors, specifically the U.S. military exercises with Israel. He announced that he would hold talks with the Israelis and Palestinians to reduce the escalating tensions. As for the Saudi-American ties, Blinken said that the relations between his country and the kingdom have been important and ongoing for decades, noting that Saudi Arabia has provided great support to Ukraine in the face of the Russian war. He said that Saudi Arabia voted against the Russian war in Ukraine before the UN General Assembly, stressing the need for relations with Saudi Arabia to reflect common interests and values. He reaffirmed that Washington is still working with Riyadh to end the war in Yemen.